guys, it's Julia, and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing my Cramathon TBR. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater. So first off, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. If you're watching this on the day this goes up, it is going on up on Christmas. So Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. I hope you guys are all, like, I sincerely hope you all are having a wonderful day. So let me know how your Christmas has went in the comments down below, because I'd love to know. Hopefully I'm having a good day. This is pre-filmed, so I don't know. But without further ado, I'm going to be talking about the Cramathon, which I'm helping host with some of my dear friends, including J Jay from The Awkward Bookworm, Allie from Hardback Quarter, and Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5. General details about the readathon if you didn't see any of our announcement videos. This readathon is going to be running from the 26th, so tomorrow, to January 2nd. And the goal is to cram a bunch of books into a small amount of days, so preferably picking shorter books would be best. So we have seven challenges that are not mandatory, but check them out. You can do them, so I'm going to go through them. So one is a book on a 200 pages, a book with LGBTQIA plus representation, um, one of the host's favorite short books, or um, a book, one of your friend's favorite short books, shortest book on your TBR, a book with your favorite color on the cover, um, the bo a book that was gifted to you, and read seven books. So of course you don't have to do these, you can, all of these, you can double up, you can do the whole shebang, who cares, it's just for fun. Um, so yeah. I will have our details down below, including everyone else's announcement videos and the Twitter, so make sure to check us out there because we're doing reading sprints, so I'm super excited about that. I'm nervous because <laughs> I don't host readathons often because no one asks me. So thanks, Dylan. <laughs> I don't usually, I don't host readathons often, so this is going to be my first time in like e over a year maybe doing sprints, which even then I was, it was a very small little like three people were doing it with me so I know it's gonna be a bigger thing this time just because of the Twitter but ugh, I'm kind of nervous about it but I hope you guys join in for the sprints I'm I'm gonna have it the picture here that you can check out and our Twitter will be down below that nonsense let's talk about the books I hope to read but let's see what happens we'll see so I usually don't stick to reading challenges just because they aren't my thing like I kind of just want to read what I want to read that's cool but I can sort of fit these into any challenges I want to in the end anyways but I'm just going to show you guys what the books are so first up I have Nerve by Jan Ryan this book should be super quick um I think it's 300 it's less than 300 pages the font is massive I think I can get through this one and I know um this is about a game like it's about this game that's kind of like truth or dare but you have to do the dares and fill them, but film them, but then people die and like there's all this stuff going on. I saw the movie and I liked it. Um, I thought the movie was fun, so I'm excited to read the book. Next up here, I have Crenshaw by Catherine Applegate. And this book, all I know is about a cat. It says, uh, Jackson and his family have fallen on hard times. There's no more money for rent and not much for food either. His parents, his little sister, and their dog may have to live in their minivan again. Crenshaw is a cat. He's large, he's outspoken, and he's imaginary. He has come back into Jackson's life to help him. So I'm super excited to read this. This sounds like it's going to be a really fun middle grade book, and I did enjoy The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate, so I'm very excited to see what this one's all about and how I like it, and if there's cats, so I'm there. And the font, huge. I think it's doable. Next up here, I have The Nest, and this is by Kenneth Opal. Um, I don't know much about this. That is just about a nest. Do we follow bees or some kind of wasp? I don't know. I'll find out. But it's little. <laughs> I got it from Book Outlet. And I was, so I'm like, okay. It's about 250 pages and it's like middle grade, big font. Let me know if you guys have read this or heard anything about it. I haven't really heard much about it. But it was cheap, so I bought it. The next book I have here is something I know you guys are going to be excited about. And that is um, Gwendy's Button Box. And this is by Stephen King and Richard Chismar. And this I've heard amazing things about. All I know is it's a very, clearly a very short, um, ooh, it's pretty. Very pretty. It's a very short little mystery thriller thing, I think. The little town of Castle Rock, Maine has witnessed some strange events and unusual visitors over the years. So that's all I'm going to read about it. But I'm very excited to read this. I've heard amazing things. Very excited for this one. The one that probably won't happen just because I don't know if I'm going to fit it in. But this is None of the Above by I.W. Gregoro. And all I know about this one is it follows an intersex main character and her discovering that she is intersex. So um, this sounds very interesting, but I think, how big is this? It, no, oh, it's only 300 pages. I can read that. I don't know why the spine made it look bigger to me. Like, I don't know, just the size of it looked kind of, not big, but just like not. 
yeah so it only ha it only has like 330 pages i think this is doable as well but we'll see what happens this is for the lgbtqia plus challenge the book that i know i'm going to be getting to for sure is and a happy new year and this is by holly bourne this i'm making this is my top priority that i really want to read this before the new year so i'm so very excited about this is the, the 3.5 in the spinster club trilogy which is like a feminist trilogy ya mature ya series lots of fun really good writing really relatable characters super excited to read this one but there you guys have it these are the books that i'm hoping to read for the cramathon let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and what you're going to be reading and if you're participating you uploaded a TBR video or any kind of video showing what you might read for the Cramathon or for you participating, just let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know and make sure to check out the rest of the hosts' channels as well as the Cramathon Twitter. See you guys super soon. Bye!